Hello, I am just starting to do a bit of gel printing, courtesy of Jovi and Martha, who put the idea in my head. <laughs> and I was like, now I need to go and do some gel printing. And it's the next morning after they're live. So if you haven't watched that, go and go and watch the replay. If you haven't played with your gel print, printing plate, that's a, not a mouthful at all, is it? So I had a paintbrush and not the roller. So I'm, I wanted to make some texture on my page. And my problem is that I haven't got any sort of stamp, stencils or stamps. My stencils are all homemade. So I've got, I do have some, but I use them in my journals and I don't want to get them covered in paint. So I made these ages ago. And I just use them all the time. So we're just going to just put some background colours on pages to start with. Oops. Ooh, a bit of that. I just want some texture, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, what colours should we put on next, guys? How about a bit of purple? I do like a bit of pur purple and blue. Well, let's have a look. What could go wrong? Oh, the purple could be run out. That could go wrong. No, I like this purple. It's like shiny. Right, I think we'll roll this one on. Just a nice thin layer. Yeah, I don't go one way either. <laughs> We're not perfectionists in the junk journal world, are we? Okay. So I do have some things that I usually use when I'm doing my stencils, and that's these weird little shapes. And they tend to work quite well if you want just swirly patterns on your paper. Don't know where I've got them from. I think they're cake icing things or something. I don't know. I just pick things up that look like they might be interesting. So, love that. Let me move some of the paint out of the way because I've got loads on the table. We're gonna pop some of that on there. Now we're going to get this bit that we've half done. And we're going to put a little bit of the purple. Hopefully, if I can get it just there. And we're going to start another one, because we can. In fact, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to use this map page to add as well. I'm just getting some blocks of colour down because because it's fun and that's all it's about is fun to me. I've got me cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I oh know. I've been up and down the loft putting stuff up there and taking it back down again other bits oh look at that that's yummy i like that just one more little bit to go there so we need another color the purple worked really really well i think we need a, a darker blue have i got a darker blue um dig dig right i've got some watercolor something I don't know. I've got all different types of paints. Let's put some on and let's mix in a bit of this one. Plop. <laughs> Blippity plop. This is another shiny one. Very thin, opaque one. Well, that blue's not very good, is it? 
leaving blotchy marks. It's not good. Hopefully we can roll them out. So I am blaming you two ladies completely for this because <laughs> you just look like you were having so much fun. And I was like, I've really got to do that. Okay, so I have um, a card and all I'm going to do now is just make some wavy lines with it, I think. Maybe wavy? I think wavy. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe weird sort of lines. I don't want straight lines. I huh, wonder what will happen. wonder what that's going to look like. Just experiment, guys. There's no rules. All right, let's get these two background ones finished. Okay, so. I'll have this. I think there might be a bit too much paint. <laughs> Yep, maybe. And we're gonna go we're gonna go this end to cover that bit there. And we're gonna get this and just go over the rest like that. Hopefully. No, no, we're not. We're just gonna do that. So now we've got another little empty bit. <gasps> no! Hang on. Hang on, I am I am prepared. I have lots of different bits of paper. This is just some thin like chip shop paper. Yeah, that one's not down, is it? And that's just really thin, but we can use it as a mop up. Oh, it's very slidey. I usually attach mine down with my glass mat. What do you think? Ooh, I'll go through them all when we're finished. And I don't know why I'm not using my glass mat today. Oh, I quite like that. Let's just put them over there. This one should be now finished with a background. And I might leave them as backgrounds. I like that. Let's it's going to be a journal page, so I'm going to have to do the other side as well. So we need to wait for them to dry. <laughs> oh, the drying, the drying time. I don't like the drying time. It's boring. Right, let's some more of this. This was cool. And we'll add some white as well. I might have to start a whole new one because I can't wait for that to I'll, I'll get impatient in a minute now shall I brush that or roll no I'll roll I will roll I will roll I think rolly rolly rolling what's that song rolling 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 probably not applicable to this but you know came in my head you know, if it comes in my head, <laughs> that's it, game over. Okay, what are we going to do with this one? I could just lift and see what we've got. I could. I could just do a few lines just around the outside, like this. Like a border. Maybe a couple. They're not going to be the outside, that's the trouble, because it's too small for my page. So, um, Do I want to start a new piece? Yes, I think this is going to look quite nice, because I think it's got some layers now. So we're going to put the whole piece over the lot and dry it off the heat from your hand should dry it i think right i just leave that i'll have a sip of me tea okay how's it doing should we have a look or oh, that looks like it might peel 
yeah, the glass mat is definitely coming out. Oh, I like it. Pulled it off lovely. How about that for a background? I like it. I like it. Right, you, Sunny Jim. Sunny Jim. I'm going on the glass mat because you're sliding around on the paper. So, I do find it doesn't slide quite as much on there. Well, it doesn't slide at all on there. So, that's all good. All right, now we start again. That's what we're doing. Oh, they're my favourite colours, you see, and they're like running out now. It's not good, guys. It's not good. Not too much of that one because it's quite dark. And let's add the white. I do have some cream actually there, which might work. Okay, we'll try cream next. Right, should we brush it again? I found that quite. I could, maybe I could do it with this. Ooh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Just different directions and oh. That is an awesome background. I love it. Just wipe that off. Right, now, that is soaking wet. <laughs> that is really wet. We have this one that is pretty much dry. So what we're going to do is see if we can get most of this on here. Like that. And what I'll do, is hopefully that's got no paint on it now. It might have a little bit, but not a lot. And we'll just gently get that up because I think it's going to be quite soggy. Oh, guys, what do you think? That's pretty cool. We've got to do edges though, Jovi, haven't we? We've got to do edges. Okay, so I feel like doing that again, but with different colours. So we're going to go with the darker, this one. And I'm only going to use that and white, I think, just, just to see what happens. I want to keep it cool. And what did we use this now? We're going to do it again because that is such an awesome effect. You can use anything you like on the gel point. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to dig this in. And there is a lot going over the edges. <laughs> but to get that background, I think that's pretty, pretty worth it. Okay. I like that. Right, wipe it off on there. Why not? Okay. <laughs> That's another soggy wet page. That might take a while to dry. So I'm going to use this one and. Oh, we didn't use that, so it's not wet, is it? You can tell that it was too much paint, but do you know what? If I want to get that effect, I think I have to. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Right, you've got to dry. Can you dry quickly? Because, you know, what I'm going to do, I think, is use that to dip. I'm going to dip. Like, let me get my roller. Like this. And just get them edges that I missed. Okay. 
I'll just... Oh, I've got most of it. There's a few bits. Yeah, there's a, there's a few too many, I think. I need to get more. More paint on there. Okay, let's try that darker blue. Only, obviously, we don't want too much of this. Yep, and I'm mixing it with the white again. I like it with the white. It's very subtle. I like subtle. Today I like subtle. Sometimes I like grungy. I like subtle today. And you can change your mind. Why not? Why not? Do you know what? I might let this one dry and do something over the top. Some patterns. Although it's so tempting to take a print of that. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll just smooth out the little bits with, with some swirly sort of patterns. I'm not going to press too much. Just so you can't see them lines that I've made. <laughs> So what do we need the other side? Oh yeah, we need the other side of this one, do we? So we're just going to do half so I can get all the edges. And, oh, I need to get that bit done as well, don't I? There. This is still very wet, but we're going to go for it. And very quickly, just do this. <laughs> I should wait till it dries, but I did tell them I'm too impatient. Just got that one edge to do now and this one should be... Oh I put it down that way guys. What am I doing? I should have put it down that way shouldn't I? Oh duh. You see? Talking... Talking doesn't help. I don't know how you guys did it live. Right, okay, so we have now pretty much messed up that one, but we can still use it. It'll be fine. We have to start again now. I found a new purple, so we're going to have some purple and some white. I think it was because it was still wet. That's why I did, That's why I had it the wrong way up. And we're just going to roll this on. Oh my goodness, I've put too much paint on. Again! Oh my goodness. Right, we're going to get that top off. <laughs> it's quite yummy though. <laughs> I love the colour. Right, I need to rub this off on something. Where's that rubbing off one I made? There it is. So what we're going to do is just... That is yummy. I love that colour. Right. Oh, you're stuck on there now as well, are you? Right, I think I've got some brown paper. Now, it's quite crinkly, but what if we crinkled it some more? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Should we just should we just go for it? I'm just going to put that on and I'm not going to flatten it too much I'm just going to pat it this will be like collage paper oh, look at that oh, I'm loving it okay now we have to wait for that to dry which is a pain because I want to carry on just a little bit come on not too much don't do too much just want the tiniest tiniest bit I 
I'm losing my um, texture. So what shall we do on that one? Let's have this one. I love this one. It just makes such a pretty shapes. Just turn it round. Off the edges. Okay. And I've, what's happened is I've covered the thing with this now, haven't I? That's what's not working. Right. So we have the back of this one. So I'm only going to do half. I'm going to do half of it. And I'm going to do the other half on the other piece. Which I haven't got. And I need another piece. Because I've got this piece. Oh, that was still just a background, wasn't it? I could go over the top of that. Or I could put that one on. I shall go with that. And then we'll finish this side. I've lost my roller. Anybody see the roller? <laughs> what have I done with it? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, I'm very tired. I didn't sleep very well last night. But, yeah, so I'm going to have to sit down in a minute. I've done too much standing up. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I like that. Nice, nice. And what's this look like on top of there? <gasps> Super cool. These are gorgeous. I'm loving them. And that is going to be magic when I do the, the other side and put another layer of something. Something over the top. What should we put on? Oh, the choices. I think more blue. I just love blue. This turquoisey blue is like just one of my favourites. Oh, that's why it's nearly run out. And my white. Or well, maybe I, should try, I could try this cream. See what that's like. Oh, no, 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 I don't really. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't really want any more paint. Can you stay there? Okay. Let's just do these colours first. Just rubbing off onto this matte piece which now looks really cool i need to do the other side uh -oh. right so something on top of that how about some waves you only need like minimal supplies to play around with a gel plate you don't need anything fancy I really should come off that because I, I'm running out of brown paper space. I need to move up. Right, I have edges. I have edges to do, guys. So I might have to do edges. So one up here. Dun, dun, dun. One there. And I've got a half to do here. that and <laughs> oh, I could do the other side of this one there we go so thank you Jovi and Martha 
because I had a lovely hour playing with the gel prints. You may not get an hour's video because, you know, <laughs> there was a lot of me running upstairs to find things. Oh, look at that. Love that. I think that one's done. Yes. And this is my little rubbing off one, which has got a little edge on. So now I've got that edge to do. That's all. Okay, so I can do a whole piece. Maybe very little purple. I'm right. And smoosh it. Smoosh it is a term. It's a it's a very well known term, smooshing. In our community, we smoosh paint and we smoosh distress oxides when we want to make a background. So yeah, it is it is a thing. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I quite like it. I didn't like them big blobs. And what I think I'll do is I'm going to take this. You probably dry. And I'm just going to go on the edge. And use that paint up. I might need a bit more. <laughs> there we go. And that is that piece finished. So you can go and dry too. I have to mop my floor when I've finished. Okay, so we have a pattern. Do we want any more pattern? I've got cotton reel. But I do... Oh, what can I make? I don't want any sharp edges, otherwise I'd make like cross-cross lines. Maybe I could do it anyway. Oh, I think that's not going to look silly. So we're just going to, I'm just going to go over that. Rub it out. Um... Um, 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 what should we do with that? I know, we could just use this as the other side. I've got to put some colour on it. No pattern, but it will leave the pattern of the crinkly paper. So I've still got a background. Okay. And now it's time to pick up whatever's left on there. And we have we have this piece that we've been rubbing off on, so I'm gonna use that. And I've got to stick to the same colours, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that one. And just thin coat over all different directions because you know we're rebels oh no I've got this piece as well I've got another bit to do on this oops okay I may be doing two we want a patterns we want patterns guys help 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 right what have I got See, I don't think any of these are um, any good, to be honest, because they're, they're all like sharp edges. And I don't think I can get to that one. So I do have this I made that's diamonds. Why not? Why not? Let's just get some of that off. Hmm. 
Nice, nice. Like it. I never wash these. They just get layers and layers and layers of paint on. I really feel like I need to put something else on this one because I've sort of messed it up. I love that side. I'm tempted to just go right over the top of that again. I'm going to wait because I'm going to put some gold on top of that. <laughs> as soon as it's dry, that should do the trick. Not. This is it. This, I'm just too impatient. That's the trouble. I just want one really thin layer, please. Okay, right. You're listening? One thin layer. Do not mess with the one underneath. I have messed with the one underneath now. Oh, I think I have. I didn't wait long enough. I don't think we're going to see my, my diamonds. My diamonds in the sky. But everything's a song, isn't it? Right. We are just going to put another layer on that. I know it's going to be super thick, but pff, do you know what? It doesn't matter. And I, I want to roll it, but I don't want to spoil this side. <laughs> I love this side as it is. I'm going to have edges. Oh, no, I'm not. It's already done, isn't it? Oh no, it's not working. It's just it's just smudging even more. I didn't wait long enough. Maybe I can do some stamping on that one. Or I can just use this side and do something else with that. Okay, not happy with that one, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. So I've just got this one and I need to clean the plate. So we're just going to pop a colour on. To clean that and this was oozing everywhere so we'll use this one and then I've got to go and clean the edges I used soapy water with mine that on and clean up whatever's left so we need to leave it for a little while sorry I know I'm shaking the table and I it's saturated now because it's really thin paper you can see it wrinkling anything you like when you're gel printing whatever stamp stencils make your own do what you like with them cleaning up the plate just put a layer on top calms everything down maybe I should have done that on that other one so that is me for now I'm gonna clear up all my mess and then I'll show you all the finished papers when they're dry this is the one that I I spoiled it was looking lovely and then I just added one layer too many. Um, the other side, really pretty. I like that side. So not quite sure what I'm going to do this side. Add more stamping and things, I think. I love this. Just that pattern just looks so cute. And I love doing that. And the swiping. It's all very cool. I like it. And that one. So you just put your shape on and just wiggle it a bit and it makes really cool effect. And that was just swish, swishing, smooshing. And I've done my edges, Jovi. <laughs> this is just my pull-off sheet. This is this map. I like that. And I, I just rolled my brayer on this one. And this was just my use it up page, which, you know, I can carry on using. And this was the scrumpled up paper. 
so quite happy with my little gel printing session and um <laughs> yeah i'm i'm super glad i did it because i found a, a few new things while i was playing so always good so i hope you liked a, something a little bit different um i am going to do more different things i just want to do all the crafts all of them <laughs> catch you later bye